What's going on, Jerome's? Minnesota Fighting Vikings have been hashtag blessed by some fantastic kick returners uh, over the last couple of decades. Percy Harvin, Cordero Patterson, as well as... King Kenne in Wangu, the pride of Iowa State, uh, came in and truly has been royalty uh, returning kicks. Uh, over the last two seasons, uh, he has led the league in yards per return at 28.3, as well as took three thrice uh, house calls, uh, also the most in the NFL. And frankly, he should have been first team all pro for the last two years, but he's been robbed. Uh, only got one second team in 2022. But I digress. Hmm. It's okay. And potentially uh, with the with the exodus of Dalvin Cook, King Kenne potentially could have uh, contributed a lot more as a running back this season. But unfortunately, it has been dinged up and with an undisclosed injury and missed the bulk of training camp, missed uh, all three preseason games as well. Uh, and now, uh, even though he made the 53-man roster, has been put on short-term injured reserve, which... Uh, it was inevitable. Uh, it does make the most sense, uh, especially since if he's not ready to go right away, what is the point? Uh, but you're able to protect him. And also, obviously, the Vikings putting him on injured reserve now, I uh, think that he can contribute at some point this season. And uh, again, it really is unfortunate because Kenne uh, is an elite talent. Uh, even with the modified neutering of the kick return rules, he still uh, is a game changer back there. And as a running back, you know, maybe... Like maybe he get together, right? But uh, maybe there's a reason why he never got the time of day at Iowa State, and it wasn't just David Montgomery and Brees Hall. Like maybe he is meant to just be the best kick returner in the NFL, uh, and that's it. That's it. Even though that is still pretty damn good. Also, Kenny's health was a big reason why the Vikings were kicking the tires on veteran running backs like Kareem Hunt and eventually uh, signed Miles Gaskins, uh, who had been a uh, 53-man roster casualty in Miami. Uh, so Gaskin comes in and will be the nice running back three uh, behind Madison and Chandler. Uh, in the interim, uh, candidates to return kicks. Uh, Brandon Powell can return kicks and punts. Uh, Ty Chandler uh, returned some great kicks in preseason two years ago. Uh, Miles Gaskin also has some uh, kick return experience. And by that, I mean two. <laughs> uh, but li like I said, either way, with the neutering of the rules where you know the fair catch gets you at the 25, nah, I, I don't think that it really matters unless you have a guy who can really bust one uh, like Kenne. Uh, and and uh, with him on short-term injury reserve, uh, he has to miss at least four games. So the earliest he can return uh, is week five against the Chiefs. I I'd love to see that. So in the late window, probably getting Romo and Nance on CBS, and then all of a sudden, King Kenne, bow gaud. That, that's Kenne and Wangu's music, and then he just busts one uh, for 99 yards. Got 99 problems, and the Chiefs got all of them, man, including uh, King Kenne and Wangu. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings place uh, Kenne and Wangu on uh, short-term injured reserve. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, skull. Production value.